you know, people ask, well, what is the biggest battle you were in? I guess he asked that to anyone. It's one where you got shot. I'd gone to Washington and Lee College, and I was in just in the middle of my sophomore year, uh, and I had uh, turned 19. I had orders to report to the Army as a second lieutenant in the reserve. Was then I was transferred to a new branch of the service called tank destroyers. We got delayed in going overseas because of transportation, but we did get over uh, there after the invasion, and we had the opportunity to uh, fight uh, in Normandy. What was the scene like, though, when you got there? Was was there signs of the invasion? Oh, yeah. Uh, what did you see? Well, <laughs> that's sort of hard to d describe. Uh, the, the, most of the towns that we went through and thought were, were pretty well leveled. After Normandy, there really wasn't that much resistance. You, uh, but you, you, there was always someone that uh, would be getting in the way, you might say. Uh, after that, then we were assigned back with the Third Army, uh, and then we started uh, on our so-called trip to Berlin. And some of my men that were under my command are, are in the cemetery over there in Normandy. I would like to visit their graves. There's some of the uh, glamour of war, if you could imagine, or if I could say glamour, if there is such a thing of war, was being with those Frenchmen when they were freeing their country. There, there's so many things uh, in there, in the war, that you remember. It's only been the last few years that have even discussed it with any of the family. The, the war, we did what we had to do. There are stories you don't even want to hear about, think about, or even remember. They come back from time to time. But I think if you're going to go through life, you have to look at the future and, and re remember what you learned there. To me, uh, fighting over in Europe, uh, was my college education. 